Okay, I got this little Coleman uh, lantern that runs on one candle as an emergency uh, lighting and heating. But uh, the way that, if this is representative of the way that the wick burns, I don't like it at all. So I'm going to take a look and see if I can't replace candle with liquid paraffin in some sort of a glass container which would give me a good flame up here in the middle somewhere, nice and bright and hot. Well, I hate to have to do that, but let's see what I can do. If you want, come along with me. Here we go. Okay. okay, so I figured the first thing I need to do is take some dimensions. So these things unscrew and screw differently from what you're used to doing, except for the top part. But watch this, to the right. So how this thing works is there's a spring inside of here and the candle has constant pressure pushing it up. So the candle starts out way down here and then this thing ends up here and the wick falls over and it's done. But as it keeps pressure on it, it melts around the surface area here and that's how it can continue to flow upward. And this comes right apart and it's easily uh, put back together again and this spring just unscrews and comes out it, uh, it's got a little lip inside of here that that holds it back down again so in my search for this I needed something uh, I would love to have something this diameter and then as it goes in here it has to poke out of the top and I was hoping to find something that would be absolutely perfect but that's like does not exist this is very close. My inkwell fits in here and it comes out the top just perfect, but I've still got a good three quarters of an inch here that it cannot close. So I'm on the hunt for something like this that would stick out and then allow the wick to be that tall because you really want the flame to be somewhere right here in the middle. And the way that it was burning before when it wasn't burning well, you couldn't even see the flame at all. So this was out and I'm on the hunt and that's too big trying all of my ink wells. This one fits in there rather nice and as I drop it down in here if I was to use the spring pressure with the spring without this container I could put pressure on it to have it come up. But this is a bit short and I, I would like to have it taller to have more fuel inside of there then and then I said to myself self you need to get yourself down to the dollar store I didn't make it to the dollar store but at Dollar General I found this piece of glass and if this were an inch shorter this would be perfect so let me explain when I put this on this goes in there perfectly and it's quite stable and the lid goes on so as you can see it's it's at the halfway mark but that's where I want the flame so this flame is going to be up in here in this area which is too close to this which will cause this to burn and probably ruin this paint on top so I don't want it to be that far up so as you can see I need it to be an inch shorter and then I started looking around the house and I found this. This may just work. This is a travel hairspray jar. Uh, actually, it's I think it's aluminum. It's been sitting around the house for quite some time. I don't even know if it works anymore, but I'm gonna give this a shot. Let me show you why. As I put it in, the height is near perfect. And you can see that the wick would probably be somewhere around here and the flame somewhere around here. Now, how much this holds in comparison to something that would be fatter, this works out real well because it seats itself down in this area right here. It fits right in there and it doesn't want to move. And it actually sits quite firm inside of here. So this is like almost made for this. And I actually feel like uh, metal is going to be a whole lot better than glass. So I'm going to give this a shot. Okay, it's time to open this thing up, but 
It does feel like it has a little something left in here, so I'm going to go spray that in the trash and then come back with an empty can. I know it's empty, so it's not going to be surprising me. Oh, just like I thought. Just enough room for a wick. But what do I do with that? Let's see what happens when I grab it. That's a pretty good spring in there. Might be better to punch it through. Well, I'm doing good at destroying my little can. Now it's punched way down. That I did not want to do. Should have started off with this. Ah, I punched it in. Wonder if I can recover this angle. Oh, it's such soft metal. Nice flame. It's perfect. Thanks for watching, folks. Please like and subscribe. It helps keep me going. This was a fun project, much better than a candle. I think I'll have to run a test and see how many hours that will run. I'll bet it'll run at least 12, maybe in another video.